Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the variable air volume terminal, remaining part of the components part two. I'm going to talk about VAV configurations, single and uh, two fans. And I'm going to talk about the controls for the VAV system. And finally, I'm going to talk about some technologies for control. So let's begin. First system of configuration single fan dual duct VAV system. At the single air handler, a portion of the return air is recirculated and mixed with outdoor air. This mixture of outdoor and recirculated return air is then diverted through either the cooling coil or the heating coil and delivered down the respective duct system to the modulation devices in the dual duct VAV terminal units. While this single fan configuration requires only one air handler, it is very complicated to control effectively. In this example, the economizer is controlling the mixed air temperature to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, thus saving the energy to operate the cooling coil. However, the heating coil must warm the air from 55 Fahrenheit to the 105 Fahrenheit primary air temperature. If the economizer was not activated, the mixed air temperature would be 75 Fahrenheit, requiring less heating energy. But now the cooling coil must operate. Optimizing the energy use of a single fan dual duct system requires a very complicated control system and does not operate as efficiently as a two-fan dual duct system. This is the second uh, configuration, two-fan dual duct VAV system. Dual duct systems can be very energy efficient when the mixing of cool and heated air is avoided and two supply fans are used, one for heating, the other for cooling. This arrangement eliminates the inefficient or wasteful reheating of mixed air in a single fan dual duct system and allows an airside economizer to provide cool primary air whenever possible. At the cooling air handler, a portion of the return air is recirculated and mixed with outdoor air introduced for space ventilation purposes. This mixture of outdoor and recirculated return air is then cooled and delivered as cool primary air to one of the modulation devices in the dual duct VAV terminal units through the cooling supply duct system. Air delivered by the heating air handler contains only recirculated air, no outdoor air. This air is heated and delivered as warm primary airflow to the other modulation device in the dual duct VAV terminal units through the heating supply duct system. The remainder of the return air is exhausted from the building. The cooling air modulation device typically has a minimum setting to accommodate the ventilation requirement of the space. Here is the very important part in our video, which is VAV terminal unit controls. There are two uh, technologies for VAV terminal unit controls which one of them is pressure dependent and the other is pressure independent control. Here we can see how the upstream pressure affects airflow. The modulating device in a VEV terminal unit changes the air resistance of the supply duct path to the space. As terminal unit modulate, the static pressure within the duct system changes. The airflow that passes through the terminal unit depends not only on the position of the modulation device but also on the static pressure at the inlet. With the modulation device in a fixed position, a higher static pressure in the upstream duct will push more air through the terminal unit. We have two methods of controlling the uh, VEV, pressure dependent control and pressure independent control. A pressure dependent VEV control scheme uses the space temperature sensor to directly control the position of the modulating device. The actual airflow delivered to the space is a byproduct of the position and depends on the duct system static pressure at the inlet of the terminal 
unit. In the contrast, a pressure-independent VEV control scheme directly controls the actual volume of primary air that flows to the space. An airflow measuring device on the terminal unit makes this possible. The position of the modulation device is not directly controlled and is basically a byproduct of regulating the airflow through the unit. Because the airflow delivered to the space is directly controlled, it is independent of inlet static pressure. Pressure independent control increases the stability of airflow control and allows minimum and maximum airflow settings to become actual airflow rather than physical positions of the modulation device. It is clearly the most popular form of VEV terminal unit controls. Now let's go ahead for the last uh, section in our uh, video Terminal unit control technologies We have three mainly technologies which are the pneumatic control, electronic control and direct digital control DDC which is BMS The pneumatic control A pneumatically controlled terminal unit has an airflow modulation device operated by a pneumatic actuator consisting of an inflatable bladder and a return spring. The return spring positions the damper to a normal state, the position it assumes with no pressure applied in the bladder, typically fully open. If the pneumatic pressure increases in the bladder, the return spring compresses and the modulation device begins to close. If pneumatic pressure is allowed to bleed from the bladder, the force of the return spring expanding begins to open the modulating device. A pneumatic volume regulator PVR provides pressure independent control of the VAV terminal unit. The PVR is connected to the airflow measurement device and the pneumatic space thermostat. The PVR directs the actuator to position the modulation device to deliver the required airflow to the space. The pneumatic thermostat signal is used to reset this airflow set point and it directly controls the terminal fan and heat source. Minimum and maximum airflow settings are physically adjusted on the PVR. Compressed air is required to operate the modulation device and to power the PVR and the space thermostat. Second, electronic control. An electronically controlled terminal unit has an airflow modulation device operated by an electronic actuator that can drive the modulation device open or closed. Electrically actuated modulation devices typically do not have a spring to return them to a normal state if power is lost. They stop at the position they held when the power loss occurred. The actuator motor is operated with three wires, common, drive open, and drive closed. To drive the device open, the electronic controller applied 24 volts between the common and the drive open wire. To drive the device closed, it applied 24 volt between the common and drive closed wire. To stop the actuator, no voltage is applied. Actuator drive time is determined by the design of the electric motors and gears, but is typically between 1 and 6 minutes. An electronic pressure transducer enables pressure independent control of the VAV terminal unit. The pressure transducer is pneumatically connected to the airflow sensor for airflow measurement and is wired to the electronic controller along with the space temperature sensor. The electronic controller positions the modulation device to deliver the required airflow to the space and operates the fan and heat source. Minimum and maximum airflow settings are physically adjusted on the electronic controller. A 24 power supply is required to power the unit actuator and controls and finally direct digital control DDC a digitally controlled terminal unit has an airflow modulation device operated with an electronic actuator in the same manner 
as the electronic control option. The key difference between electronic control and direct digital control is that the digital controller uses a microprocessor as the intelligence behind the control of the terminal unit. This microprocessor enables digital communication between the unit controller and the central building automation system BMS. The result is a system that can be monitored from a central point, offers control flexibility and enables system optimized control strategies. Buildings can be controlled more intelligently because the data such as airflow, damper position, fan and heat status is available to perform complex system control strategies and diagnostics from a central monitoring station. Similar to electronic control, an electronic pressure transducer enables pressure independent control of the VEV terminal unit. The digital controller positions the modulation device and operates the fan and the heat source. Minimum and maximum airflow settings are adjusted through a communication link to the digital controller. A 24 power supply is required to power the unit actuator and controls. Next important component of the VEV terminals are diffusers. Each VEV terminal unit is commonly connected to a downstream sheet metal duct that is then connected to the remotely located diffusers by flexible ducts. Diffusers distribute the supply air effectively to the controlled space. Proper air diffusion is an important comfort consideration, especially in VEV systems. Because VAV systems require the diffuser to provide proper space air mixing over a wide range of air flows, diffusers that are specifically intended for use in VAV applications should be used to prevent cold air dumping at low air flow rates. Linear slot diffusers are generally preferred for VAV air distribution. They used a principle known as the Quanda effect to distribute air to the conditioned space. The Quanda effect occurs when air is discharged at a relatively high velocity along the surface of the ceiling. This creates an area of low pressure that causes the supply air to hug the ceiling. As it travels along the ceiling, air from the space is drawn into and mixed with the supply air stream. When the air settles to the occupied levels of the space, it has reached an average temperature. The design of linear slot diffusers allows them to effectively distribute air over a wide range of air flows, making them the preferred diffuser of VEV systems. They also offer acoustical benefits over other types of diffusers. This is all for today's video. I wish you enjoy and learn more about the VEV uh, terminal units. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe in my channel to keep on.